Hello, Amanda Armstrong. Welcome to Back Office. Sorry for the background noise. That's because computer in the background is rendering video, but I'm too excited to wait for that. It's got another hour to go because I want to get started on a project because recently I bought some laser diodes and these are self-contained lasers, basically. Not too dissimilar from the sort of laser pointers you've used. And what I thought I'd do, something I've always wanted to try since a kid. I've heard of this. I don't know if it works. I suspect it does because I've heard about it. But what you do is you take a laser, you take a solar cell, and I'm going to use this one that was very kindly given to me, sent in, and this uh, amplifier, again, which was very kindly given to me. Um, this is for uh, one of those sort of practice guitar amps where you put your headphones on. And um, basically, if you uh, set up the solar cell into the amplifier, you can basically listen to the uh, that sort of generating a little bit of power and you'll hear that because that'll be amplified. And then with the laser, you can shine this off something reflective into the solar cell and any sound on that reflective thing will vibrate. I think it's basically amplitude modulation and you'll hear that. You'll actually hear the sound through the light. So the light becomes a transmitter. <clears throat> So you're probably wondering, why is this interesting? Why is this cool? Well, it's cool because basically it's a super spy piece of electronics. Because if somebody's in a room talking, hello, like me, very loudly, um, the windows are actually vibrating. They're always vibrating. And because this laser can hit the window, so you could shine the laser on, on the glass. And basically with the uh, laser light where it's bounced back, hitting your solar cell, you can hear what's going on inside. So uh, it's a bit, it's a bit sneaky, and I thought that'd be so cool. I mean, as as a, as a lad, probably I read it in a spy book or something. So I, I really want to try this out. I've got all the parts now. Why, you know? And I figured just let's put them together and just see if it actually works. So I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to go to the lab, and then we're going to start playing with some electronics. So to begin this experiment, I'm going to take this solar mini car. Let's get that soldering iron turned on. We're going to be dismantling things. And what I'm going to do is take these headphones and because the input on this amplifier needs a something to go in there, I don't have that big old jack that you get like on a guitar, I've got these little ones. So I'm just going to sacrifice some headphones to uh, get the wire because I'm going to wire that into the solar cell. So I'll just cut that wire in half, there we go. While that's heating up, I'm going to get a uh, piece of paper so you can see what I'm doing. It's a bit dark, I know. Oh, here's our shiny little bit of paper from epoxy testing. There we go, nice level of contrast there. So this solar power car doesn't really work in the UK very well because we don't have much sun. You can see they're positive and negative and those two blobs there, the bits of solder, we're gonna just desolder it right now. One and two, nice and easy. We'll put this away somewhere. Maybe we'll use it again in the future. Maybe we won't. Who knows? So we'll just cut our headphones. Okay, so we've got our headphones there. Let's strip the wires down. So we won't need this bit. This is the bit that goes in your ear. Now, because this pair of headphones actually had a microphone as well, we're gonna have a lot of wires here. Oh, there we go, lots of them. And they're all this kind of strange cloth wire. Don't know if you can see that, but if you look closely, you can see they're actually copper mixed in with cloth. So it's actually quite hard to work with. So what I suggest you do is weigh these down so they don't move around like that. Get your solder and on each one sit there and kind of just hold it on the end for a while and that will tin it but also burn off the sort of cloth coating. It will take some time. They're, they're kind of varnished. So you'll see as you, as you put more of your solder on, because there's flux in the solder, it'll tend to bubble off that varnish, which is what you want. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. And see it bubbling away. So hopefully now we can actually solder these to the board. 
we look at the traditional colour scheme, I'm hoping it matches them, the red one will be the common on this bundle. And what we're going to do is just wire up all the other three. I can't be bothered to buzz them out. These will be a combination of left, right, left channel, right channel, and the, the microphone because that was a, a headset, a headset ear, ear, ear buds, so it had a microphone integral to it. But it shouldn't matter to us. We just want them all to go to one place right now. And there we go. nicely soldered. So if we take a look at that now, it's using my game to hold this down, we have one solar cell connected to this. <coughs> so using a combination of adapter, I can now plug it into this amplifier. Now I've got some head I've got some more headphones. So you can hear that click. The other th noise you hear, which was sort of a hum, if you can hear that, a hum, that's the actual mains frequency in the light, because this is still a solar cell, so it'll be picking up mains frequency, so there'll be a noticeable hum on there. If we actually had an oscilloscope, and unfortunately, Ah, uh, mine's uh, out of battery at the moment, <laughs> I'm not going to set it up, but you'd see on the, your oscilloscope a 60 hertz or 50 hertz, depending on where you are, sine wave coming through that. That's fine though, that won't affect too much what we want to do. So to continue, you'll need something to reflect your laser light off. So we're going to use the, this, the laser pointer as our light source shining on that. Um, and to do this, you need something like a ring of duct tape and either some clear foil, and look, here's a bit of not so clear mylar, so I'm not sure which would be better to use, as this is a proof of concept. So when, when you, this is all finished and you're doing it properly, you should be able to shine it on a piece of glass, and you might need to wait till dark, because if you've got that ambient light hitting that cell, it might saturate it. Possible that you could put filters on that. I will worry about that later. So there's your hopefully rather tight drum skin like finish. And just to show you, if I put that in my whatever you want to call those handy draw, draw things, I should be able to show you. See the light shining on my palm of my hand? You get a kind of a reflection. In fact, I'm getting multiple reflections. So if you're getting multiple reflections, try to tighten that up a bit. You want to minimize that. See it right there? So then you get something like this game, which is going to be our sound source. And it, it is absolutely awful, the sound that comes out of this. So we're going to have a little bit of a difficulty here because you're kind of going to hear the sound that's coming out of this and I want you to hear the sound that's going to come out of this solar cell. So you'll have to probably strain a little bit. And just before we set that up, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to turn the light off here. We've got our cell down here, stuck to the counter. And I'm going to try to find an angle where I can, I'm going to hold the uh, laser by hand. So there's going to be a bit of fine tuning involved, but you can see the laser dancing dancing on the target right here. So that's what I'm going to try to attempt to do once the sound's going. I'm going to plug my headphones into the amplifier now. And they'll be turned on. So just so you can hear what this actually sounds like. It's kind of awful. I'm going to put this now behind this drum skin. Okay, so it's sitting in there, and now I'm going to hold the earphone up to the actual microphone. So you'll probably hear a bit of a, a hum, a buzz.
So you've got your reflective material here and you're basically shining your laser onto it and then back off onto your detector. So your laser is a pretty simple affair, it's just a light source basically. And then the vibrations will be captured in the light and then the solar cells picking those up. It's going to our amplifier and then that's going to your ears. Hopefully happy. So what I'm going to do though, to make this a bit more solid state, I'm going to just try to ch build it into a single unit so that the laser and the, the actual pickup are in the same place. So if you can imagine your laser source is actually built in here and then your solar cell is here, if you've got your window there and you calibrate it reasonably well so that where, when it shines back it's hitting this solar cell, You've got a handy self-contained unit going to your headphones so you don't need all these various uh, bits and bobs. Now of course this is slightly less useful in some respects because for this arrangement you can use a se totally separate light source but that still won't stop you using a totally separate light source here so if you did have to use a laser and shine it that way too that's going to work just as well. So how I imagine I'm going to do this and I shall show you <laughs> right now we'll just crack straight on into it is I think there's a possibility that we can build it into this actual unit and I don't use this for anything uh, else. I was given this so I feel less worried about messing with it but I know I'm definitely not going to break it. I'm going to end up with something rather marvellous. So what we do is we'll take the lid off and you can see we've got our laser here. Because this is uh, basically an amplifier circuit and it does have electronics on it, I'm pretty sure of it from the way it sounds, it's going to have a 5 volt line there somewhere. So if we just pop the lid on here, in fact what's that? I'll just show you, this looks suspiciously like a power is 78LO5. So this is probably actually a power converter IC and as I bent it though I heard a noise, a horrible noise, like it was possibly breaking. So let me turn this in to... Nope, still seems to be working, that's good. So this means we have a 5 volt source on the board, which is great. So that was there, indeed. So there's the component and there's its feetses. So that would be, if it's standard pin out, this would be a five volts. We can test that quite easily because I can just put my laser diode straight on. So there's the plus five and I'm gonna to go to a ground point here. Probably just off the camera. Oh dear, making a bit of a mess of it guys. Don't look. It's rude. And there you go. Laser, one freaking laser beam. Right. I'm really quite impressed though with what I heard there. I mean, I, I didn't really expect it to work at the, in the sort of back of my mind, but something that uh, really is quite cool is how well it works right away. And the reason that's exciting is because, you know, I've taken took no care to uh, put it together. I haven't got an optimized um, amplifier. I haven't really vetted the light source. I haven't sort of checked uh, what uh, you know, what filters, what frequency. You know, for example, we know that the solar cells may well work in different ends of the spectrum so we could filter out a lot of ambient noise just by applying the right filters. We know that the solar cell is working in a certain way to pick up the sound. We could certainly have much better ways of you know converting light to um, an amplifiable signal so you wouldn't necessarily use a solar cell you might use a um, LDR or any you know one of these other light sensitive devices might be better basically what I'm saying and then you'd have a preamp. Okay, so that's nicely soldered. So we're going to solder it here on this PCB. And let's see, we're going to go via the back of the case. So I've got the case here. I'm just going to take the screws out so we don't lose it. 
So if we're going to put it on the back, because the front would be nice, but it's a bit too nice and there's not really good space here. You know what? Turn your eyes away because I'm going to do something very nasty to my soldering iron and that's to plunge it straight into this plastic because it will mean the soldering iron will be filthy for soldering. Just clean that off out of off the camera. Look, still clean, still clean, it's fine. With this big smelly hole, because it's big some plastic smelly hole, I'm going to just trim the edges. Quite an interesting finish this, it's painted a nice sort of pastely green. It's always obviously designed to look retro. So we can poke this through. Wunderbar! It's taken a bit of fettling, but I've managed to figure it all out. There was a, a weird thing here, the headphones, the input, only actually work when there's something plugged in. So even though I've wired it internally, it wasn't actually getting any sound until uh, the actual headphone adapter was plugged in. And the problem with that is, of course, uh, it was really tricky to figure out. I thought I'd actually broken the solar cell. Because when I looked closely at the solar cell, and I can just probably just about show you this. Do you see there's some lines here in it? I thought that perhaps I had uh, somehow broken the solar cell playing around with it. So that was a little bit distressing, of course, because I don't have another solar cell to experiment with. So once you're, you've sort of done all this, to hold this sort of lens in place, the, the laser in place, you can use all sorts of materials. I'm thinking, I was going to think maybe resin, if you've got it really accurate, but probably more likely a, um, some sort of hot glue, so at least you can undo it. I can see now it's already, there we go, it's already sort of, it was tilting too much at an angle, so you'd never, it would sort of, it would do that. Right, so I've got the headphones, I'm going to pop them on, I'm going to get my bit of mylar again, which is here. Can see the whole experiment set up. So that's pretty cool. So there we have it, the self-contained spy contraption. So you just plug your headphones straight in, turn on the button, you got your laser beam and then you got your receiver and make sure that they uh, match up. So have a go. I might try this a little bit later outside uh, against the window or something and see what I can pick up. If you have a go, let me know how you get on. Please leave your comments down below. Feel free to click subscribe. And as ever, thanks for watching. Lasers.